part out of yeah. The quantum field gives us that possibility. Yes, Dr. Schaefer explained clearly that, that you see how he says there's all this space in the quantum field. It's empty. It's waiting for us to come in and create oh, something. Yeah. Uh, so what, what book we can read about that? I think it's in it's 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 on um, it's on all the book sites, Amazon and what was Barnes and I think it's in search of the divine plan. You have the book? I don't have it with me, but I'll Google it up on you my computer if someone you gets a email. gets a link. Yeah. Facebook. He yeah. wants to say something. Sorry? Yeah, I apologize. Yeah, um, uh, <laughs> Dr. Robert Newman. Uh, so, uh, it, uh, so uh, go ahead. You were saying. Okay, I wanted to add something about DNA programming, and in fact, when we have the ability to go back in past lives, and we encode and decode, uh, we also have the ability to encode and decode for humanity, for that thing that you saw. It's not only for that family or for those members, but it's for whole humanity for that precious particular event that we take away. Another thing that I would like to talk about is the next step about humanity concerning technology, the next quantum leap about this evolution is to add knowledges of intuitive perceptions to all our new inventions, technical inventions. For example, like telepath. Yeah, uh, I give those, you those informations from my visions yeah. as a visionary, and I write books about uh, the new inventions of 21 centuries which is one of my new book and uh, uh, we really have to what is the uh, can you name one of the technologies we yeah have? sure like for example uh, you've got all the periodic uh, elements Talk in, to in, in, all the periodic uh, elements are written in a, what we call the Mendeleev table yeah yeah for mm -hmm. for those who know and uh, the thing is it's like whole elements are next to one each other and because there is that gap between two ones uh -huh. then we thought that we will find one there but there is another dimension that we have to think about is that we have to think about three dimensions and between two ones they w we will find other ones and those those people that work in technologies they have to find and to look there for example we will be able to create Iron oh, that would okay. be able to levitate. New elements, yeah. Yes. From pre periodic yes. table. That we have specific uh, capacities. And within the 10 or 15 years, we will be able to create such molecules that don't even exist. And things that are not b in believable. It will change humanity. See, did you see the light? Did you see the light? Yeah. That's a signal, huh? Well. <laughs> So yeah, you, uh, you what laugh. else uh, you, you saw? May, you in, you in may in laugh, but look. Two times. Oh, really? What else you see in the future? Uh, one more thing you want to add yeah. for the future? Uh, yeah, there would be like a new city created between uh, Las Vegas and Reno. Uh, this city would be called Believe and Act, and it will be above Believe, Believe and Act. It will be b above uh, the Death Valley. How come? Above the ground? No. No. You take the, the you take the map yeah. geographically. Oh, above the take take a line. So, take so a line. What about, what about the city? Take what a line. What about the city? Draw a line. Draw a line between yeah, okay. uh, mm -hmm. Vegas. And yeah, it would be a city. So Reno, what about that city? Be a city? That city would gather all people that want to create this new humanity. And they will be creating from scratch, bringing all new invention there. I saw it in visions. Well, give us the the, the parameters, and we go and check it out. Yeah, mm -hmm. uh, yeah. Half in the middle. It's right in the desert, actually, like Nevada was or whatever. Somebody will build a town there. Huh? Yeah. Some people how like us. How do you spell that name? Believe and act. Believe and act. What a city is that? Ooh. Yeah, for people who believe and for act. Because I'm sure uh, Dr. Shamsky would be the first one. <laughs>